All right. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. This is Ann Diller coming to you with another episode. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Of Team Talk Live. Let me get some water. And we have a special guest with us tonight. And I got a tickle in my throat. <laughs> okay. So we are in for a great show. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Of Team <laughs> Talk Live. Water. Okay. So we have to mute that. All right, sorry about that, but we're in for a great show tonight, and my guest is the amazing chef, Shayla, Shayla Michelle, and she is joining us from Atlanta, ATL, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, Shayla. Welcome, thank you, Miss Ann, for having me, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Oh my gosh, I've been looking forward to this ever since we met at Spark and Hustle last week. Which was um, amazing, by the way. Wasn't it amazing? Yes. Shout out to April and um, the Spark and Hustle crew that made that such a great event. And um, I'm just so, I was just so impressed by you when they brought you on stage. I was like, I've got to talk to her. <laughs> Thank what, you. Thank you. What was it like for you to be in that crowd of, I, I guess, besides your brother, you might have been the youngest person there. Well, to be called up on stage was a little nerve wracking because I do have a little stage fright. I had to kind of overcome that during my business because I do a lot of public speaking now. Um, but once I got comfortable in the environment, it, it was easy. And you did such an amazing job. I was, <laughs> I was floored. I love the confidence that you exuded. Um, Thank you. I guess like the confidence came from the amazing women's energy because it was like the energy in there was amazing. Like it was just such like good vibes in the room. It really was. It really was. And I was, I left every day after such a long day, I left feeling like totally high, right? <laughs> right <laughs> okay so I can't wait to get talking to you but let me take a second just to acknowledge our guests who are here I'm so glad that you all are joining us tonight hey Vita I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad you're here it's so good to see you hey June hey Jackie and Margaret is here thank you for joining hey Christy I'm so glad you're here hey coach Kelvin is here in the house we are going to have a dynamic time having a conversation with the amazing chef Ashayla Michelle um, from Cook Me Up a Notch. And oh my gosh, she has been such an inspiration uh, and so inspiring. And I, I really wanted to bring her to my audience to talk on Teen Talk Live, to be interviewed on Teen Talk Live tonight. Again, I'm Ann Dillard. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I am the host of this show where we transform minds and lives of teens and those who love them. So let's get started. So, uh, Chef, how did you come about all this greatness that you're doing? So hi everyone, I'm Chef Ashayla Michelle, as she said before, I am a chef, sorry, my mom has some technical difficulties in the background. Okay. But. I did too, right? <laughs> right, so I make cook. I had a cookie cakes and other culinary creations, I'm also an author, um, a bakeologist, and I'm also, sorry, yeah, I'm a bakeologist as well, and a subscription box owner, I have my own subscription as well subscription boxes sorry and I also am a author this is my book the city of dreams Atlanta it's about a girl named dream traveling around Atlanta experiencing the food and culture as well and I came about my grandma introduced me to baking when we made homemade biscuits and I just fell in love with baking 
So, so I taught myself how to bake from YouTube. I was searching because I wouldn't give up on this dream. I was telling my mom, like, can I bake this today or can I bake this another day? And she was like, no, um, I'm, you're not messing up any of my groceries. So I took matters on my own hands. And then I went to school and so Valentine's Day cupcakes to my classmates. I pre-ordered them and got the money. Okay. And I took oh, it. I took okay. it. Hold on a second. You went to school after mom said, no, you're not going to mess up my ingredients. You're not going to mess up my stuff. You went to school and did what? I pre-ordered my cupcakes. <laughs> so that means you had to create a form. You had to do all those kinds of things that entrepreneurs do and get this. And you got the money up front. Yes, yes, I did. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Do you know how many entrepreneurs are having a hard time even thinking about pre selling their stuff? And you had the confidence to do that. Where did that come from? Well, my mom does have a tutor business, so I got the entrepreneur mindset from her. I was in computer and business um, class at my school because we have connections. So that was one of my um, connections. And I learned how to make a form from there. And I was just, I just put it all together in my head. That is amazing because you know what? That's, that's what April and all the other speakers were talking about at the conference, right? Just not getting the information and sitting on it, but putting it into action. So you actually learned this at school and you put it into action right away. Yes, I was, I was really passionate about my, um, I was really passionate about baking. So whatever I'm passionate in, then I wanted to show my mom that I was passionate in as well. So I had to do something to bring to her attention. I would say if I were your mom, you would have caught my attention. Did you catch her attention? Yes, I caught her attention. She even posted my cupcakes that I pre-ordered from my classmates on Facebook. And that's how my business started. Because a lot of her Facebook friends were like, oh my God, those are so pretty. Who made them? How can I order them? And cook me up and not just bore. Oh, wonderful. Bravo, bravo. That is really, really exciting. And so... From what I'm hearing, I'm going to try to pull out some nuggets and uh, talk to parents who are watching about encouraging their teens and nurturing their entrepreneur spirit. So from what I'm hearing is that you had a passion, you had a passion, and then you had somebody to support you. Yes. Okay. All right. So tell me about where has... Okay, the journey, cook, cook Me Up a Notch was born. And then what? What has happened since then? Or what are some of the things that you've done? So some of the things that I have done will have to be, so I went to break into business camp to learn how to better myself and how to become a better entrepreneur because I was just, I had a dream and a passion and I just jumped for it, but I didn't really have the business mindset for that. So I also went to break into business camp and I'm going again this year. It'll be my third year going because it's a really good camp for um, entrepreneurs. I also, I didn't, I have done a few business pitches. My most recent one will be will have to be Toffee International. Um, I pitched oh, for over Toffee. I pitched for five hundred girls and I made top five, so that was really exciting. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. It was really it was a really learning it was a really big learning experience for me. Um, I had the I had troubles with the numbers and I had to really learn how to um, rem memorize my numbers. Okay, so tell me about that. When you say you have trouble with the numbers, because, you know, like being in the schools, the public schools, a lot of kids are like, well, I don't like math. I don't do math and, and things like that. When you say you had troubles with trouble with the numbers, what does that mean or how does it relate to like doing math? Well, I love math, so I guess that's why I like to bake as much because with baking, you have to be preci precise with the measurements. Um, but the, what, what, what had me trouble or what had me confused was the, the gains and the losses of the business, how much money was profiting inside the business. So that's what got me confused. Me and my mom were not really keeping in 
we wasn't keeping in track the track we wasn't really tracking the money as well as we should have oh, been. okay okay so the the gains loss balances expenses and all that kind of stuff yes okay. yes because we, we were trying we have we have to try how we have to learn how to budget okay awesome and i have somebody in mind if you still need help with that i have somebody in mind who can really help you with that let me take a second just to acknowledge our guests who are joining us hey you all thank you for being here we have aja from senegal who's joining us hey aja share this out hey miss darsha hey nadia thanks for being here and kelvin says i was so impressed by this young lady I have hired my 12 year old daughter to start taking over my video editing business. So you inspired somebody to go pull out the entrepreneur in his child. Way to go, way to go. And Margaret said, amazing. And um, hey, Darsha, hey, Rachel, um, and Tara Harris is here and Clinton is here. Hey, Clinton. Um, all the way from Florida. I'm glad you're joining us. And Robin Brown is here. So I'm so glad for all the people. Sabra, hey, all the people who are joining us from all over the world and watching Chef. Oh my goodness. Hey, Ayla Michelle is in the house with me tonight. And we're talking about this 14 year old entrepreneur and how parents can nurture the dream in their child or in their children. And so, okay, so people want your stuff. You've gone to camp. This is your third year going to business camp, right? Yes, um, that's correct. So you got the entrepreneur part locked down. You, you need help with your budget and peace. What is a every what is a day in the life of a Shayla look like? Well, on an average day, well, let's take Friday because that's when I do most of my orders. I will come home for school, complete any of the homework that I have been giving for the weekend. Then I will take a shower, um, try to relax for a little bit. Then I will complete my orders and have them ready by Saturday. And if I have an event, then I will bake on that Friday for the event. And I would go to the event on Saturday. Wow. And so how do you deliver your orders? Um, my mom delivers my, my orders for me sometimes. And if I ship, I, I ship most of my orders. Oh, you ship them. Tell me about yes. that. On my website, you can get my orders. I, I ship mostly pies, dessert jars, cookies. I don't really ship cupcakes because it's kind of a uh, really, really hard to ship those and I do ship my pound cakes as well on okay. my website so you have quite the collection of um of products not just cupcakes or candy you have cakes pies pound well, cakes and what yes I I do a lot of Southern desserts. So I have a range of pound cakes. My favorite pound cake would have to be my strawberry lemonade pound. It's really delicious. I make, I make put fresh strawberries in there and a fresh lemon glaze on top. I also have my red velvet um, cupcakes, which, which is actually in the back of this book, The City of Dreams Atlanta, which is infused with history and steam as well. So if you get this one, you get my full red velvet recipe in the back. I have dessert jars, so I have banana pudding and strawberry shortcake. Banana pudding would have to be my favorite. So I have a, a range of different, yeah, I have cookies. I have um, organic chocolate chip cookies, which are delicious. Really, so, really good. So I'm taking it because it's organic. You can probably eat a little more than <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, look, you got a couple of messages here. Sabra say, I am so impressed with this young lady. And Audra says, hey, and hey, Shayla. And um, people are just really, hey, Zena. Um, people are just so really impressed with you and the work that you're doing. And hey, I, everybody. Thank you. Team Cook Me Up a Notch. Team Cook Me Up a Notch. Make sure you like her page. Um, I went on there today and that was it, was, it was just amazing. And follow her across all social medias. Uh, cook Me Up a Notch. 
cook me up a notch. Um, what is your website? Maybe mom can type in the website. Somebody's asking for your website and we're going to drop it in the link over and over again so that you can visit her and follow her on Instagram, follow her on Twitter and yes. she's on Facebook doing yes. her thing. So my my website is clickmeupanosh.com and you can also find my Kids Shelf Dream classes, classes and my Bakeology classes. Bakeology is a way that I infuse baking and STEAM. So STEAM is science, technology, engineer, arts, and mathematics. Um, my mom, I partner with a business called You Source Me, which brings the education component in there. And then I am the baker. So you get um, the STEAM and then you also get the baking as well. And then I also have Kidpreneur classes, which teaches kids how to become better entrepreneurs and find their passions and to turn them into a business. That is so amazing. And so um, will we get to see your mom? Can you peek your head in, Dr. Wright? <laughs> We're hearing about all this amazing stuff that Chef Shayla is doing. And um, I just want to ask you, how, how do you, how did we get here? Um, it's all about, it's just all about believing in their gifts. Um, I've always been a, a advocate in gift building and kids, just basically taking the things that they're talented and gifted at, the things that God gives them. I pay attention to my students a whole lot and I make sure I recognize their learning styles and that basically entails their gifts. And with Shayla, um, she's really, really good in math and she's really good at being very spontaneous. So I saw a lot of that, but I wanted to see whether or not she was gonna stick with it. And for two years straight, she begged me and I told her no. And so once she started to make moves on her own, she started to use the resources from school and, and, and try to tie in some of the things she was learning from school. I said, this girl is serious. You know, this girl is really serious. And so we moved forward with it. And she's she's persevered through so many things in business that has um, really shown me, shown me that she really wants this. Not only does she do this, but we have a nonprofit by um called greater giving ministries and there she teaches the kids in her kids chef dreams program um how to cook you know prepare food safely and some of the kids the kids we donate food to you know we want to make sure they're understanding how to prepare that food safely so Slater took on the leadership for that and so she's really shown me her and her brother that they really love being the boss. <laughs> they really love being entrepreneurs and I'm all with it. I'm for it. I have my doctorate degree and I really do support education, but I also support honing in on those skills and connecting it to the real world. And that's what we do with Cook Me Up a Notch um, at You Source Me, as well as with my son's business that's up and coming as well. That is so amazing. What would you say to the moms? Because primarily my audience are moms of teens and they're looking mm -hmm. for different resources. What would you say to the moms who are watching and you know, how, how do we get them even started? Uh, we are responsible for preparing them for their future. And a lot of times we think it's just school and we think the teachers are responsible for that, but it, it is our job. I'm learning so much from a Shayla and I just thank God that I listened and that I, and that I um, understood that the sacrifice was worth it. The sacrifice that, I mean, I just know that as a mom, I'm doing the right thing by her, by teaching her how to be independent, how to create her own reality, how to believe in herself. I mean, she's learned so many skills, confidence build. It, it was a definite confidence builder for her. Um, we struggled with that at, with a teen girl, just growing up with puberty and all of that. Um, she's had to conquer over some things <laughs> that um, would have probably been hard for most teens, but because she's passionate about something that she really believes in, she 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 puts on, I don't know, her big girl panties, I don't know, and she just pushes through them. <laughs> she pushes through those situations. And she says to herself later, she said, oh my God, like I was so afraid, but I got through it. And she becomes stronger from that. And if anything, for parents, I would say that if we don't teach them who will, 
you know, I'm a teacher myself and this is not something that is taught in schools. So it's our responsibility to make sure they're able to independently take care of themselves. And we're, we went through a really hard time, a really hard time for the last two months. But because of the business, my kids are so much more balanced and they understand that hard times will come in business and in personal life. But they've understood how to persevere, how to move forward and how to cre um, continue um, finding creative ways to become the success that they, the goals that they, to accomplish the goals that they want. So for parents, I would just believe, just believe in them and just listen to the messages that God give you about your kids and really listen to what they have to say. Because sometimes we ignore them and they have these gifts and they're doing all this dibbling and dabbling in things. And I was working with a parent that child loves YouTube and he loves watching people play games on YouTube, but that's a business in that. It's a business in that. And just um, tapping into that and saying, okay, so if this is something that you're interested in, let's figure out how you can make some money doing this very thing. And then you you wrap the education around them because in order for them to be able to do this thing and make this money, they have to learn. So you try to you say, okay, in school, you get the teachers involved. I let all the teachers know if she has some things coming up, I say, what are they doing in the curriculum? What is in the lesson plan that we can attach to this business goal? because she has to be ready for this business pitch on Saturday. So let's figure out how we can make this assignment work to prepare her for this next goal that she has for her business. So it's, it's all about that and it's worth it. It's worth it. So if anybody want to talk to me more about, you know, assessing their kids gifts and just getting them prepared for starting a business, my website is usourceme.com. That's the letter U, the word source and then me.com and i will have you drop that in the comment section because i sure will this is good stuff i'm and so excited you're doing this oh. i think the teens have so much to say and i'm just so happy that you got shayla talking about some things out here because sometimes she can be a teen <laughs> and and that's okay and i'm amazed at how she you know she's balancing it i see the little teen in her coming out and that's mm -hmm. good <laughs> to have that great balance because you know it's she could be doing a whole lot of other things yeah that's true <laughs> we have our moment moments where we back and forth because shayla um we different in that way shayla is very um i mean she just takes it and run with it i want to overthink everything so and we what have our balance that is right yeah. balance each other yeah. out and acknowledge and recognize and appreciate each other's strength absolutely that is so amazing you know i i really appreciate <laughs> <laughs> i really appreciate what you're doing and i really appreciate how you are pouring into her and your son because a lot of times when i'm talking and being a teen therapist myself a lot of times when i'm talking it, it's not good stuff and we're talking about how to um reel them in and we're talking about how to counter some of the, the things that they've already done and that's not to say that your life is without struggles or challenges yeah, absolutely right? but what i'm hearing you say is that because you have this central focus that is something that she's passionate about and something that has held her um held absolutely. her focus absolutely, absolutely. we lost our home we lost our home two months ago. You would never know that because I make sure that something is consistent. And with this business, this is something that she's proud of. And I would have never let this go. You know, all the commitments, all the bookings that she got because we suffered a hardship. Um, this was something she could be proud of. Being at the Spark and Hustle was kind of like the highlight of our season and God showing us that if we continue to persevere and be obedient and, 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 and believe and have faith in the things that he's given us, then everything will work out fine. Everything with me winning the fast track session with April, with Ashayla being called on stage, all of that, all of that. Nobody would never know what we were going through. And a lot of my students, I deal with kids that have special needs and they they are considered you know learning disabled or whatever it may be 
But when I connect entrepreneurship with my tutoring, they get it. They get it. We, we, we talk about what they love. We talk about what things they're passionate about. And I, and I tap into what their learning styles are. And I introduce to them ways in which who doesn't like money? The kids are so excited to learn that when I tell them that they can do the same thing and earn money, they're they're thriving in education and they're and they're understanding how to connect with their learning and it makes sense to them. It so entrepreneurship sense. makes sense to kids, and we just need to introduce the, it to them more because not all kids want to be um, the traditional doctor, the traditional lawyer. You know, there are so many different things that kids are becoming entrepreneurs doing the same STEAM power education, whether it's um, being a um, freelance media specialist or Shayla's doing her own culinary thing. She doesn't have a license. Um, <laughs> she's, she hasn't graduated from culinary school, but she's able to train and mentor and do this thing at 14 years old there's so many other kid entrepreneurs out there that's doing an amazing thing and creating their own pathways based on somebody recognizing their gifts and and putting forth the effort to do whatever they can to support their child in their business that is so amazing and it, and, and i want to say to people who are listening and if you don't have a parent to support you get a mentor because yes. mentors are able to offer that kind of love and support and help take you to places that, that you can't even imagine and i'm just gonna piggyback a little bit to say i'm so sorry to hear about the loss of your home but we couldn't nobody could tell at spark and hustle right nobody could right. tell because you showed up and you, you showed up best and you did, you know, you did your thing. Yes. And so whatever accolades you got, it wasn't out of pity. No, no, it no way. As a result of your hard work. Right. Because I, we understand that there's a season for everything. And sometimes God has to remove some dead things off of you to bless you the way and put you in the circle where you need to be. And we understood that. This has only been a season of growth and God disconnecting some things and growing us in other ways. And that, that including everything else that we've been blessed with, we can't sit and it's not a pity situation. It's just something that we had to go through and it's made us stronger in business. It's made us a closer, even closer family. It's just my kids and I, and we understand that things are going to get hard. But if you really, really want it, if you really, really see your future, if you really, really understand that the vision that God gave you is really going to come to pass, you trust him with that, then no matter what comes in our way, we're going to get through that. And that's what we did. And all we could do was smile and be so grateful and thankful for that weekend because it just showed us that we showed up for ourselves, we showed up for our business, and God blessed us because of that. I mean, you better say that. Yeah. You are really testifying. Let me just look at some of these comments. Um, Sabra say woohoo. And uh, Xenia says, job well done, mom. Thank you. Bravo, mom. These are you. You know, great comments. Tara Harris said, Ashela, you have, um, Ashela, have you had to overcome hurdles with public speaking? If so, how did you overcome those hurdles with with public speaking? Yeah, yes, I did have hurdles with public publicly speaking. <laughs> well, there, there I you go. Do. <laughs> but I had to overcome it because my mom just pushed me out there, so I had to. You know how people learn how to swim and somebody just pushes them in the water that has want to survive? Then that's right. Normal. Yeah. <laughs> and she's also um i've enrolled her in a couple of workshops um if i find some free ones that are catered to public speaking or sometimes we have paid coaches she's worked with a few um coaches that have prepared her for different events and then as we show up people will come and the, for some reason they would say you know i want to work with your baby and she's been offered 
some public speaking training from people that were just investing in her and seeing what she wanted to do. And they asked, you know, what are your needs? And one of them are, is always public speaking training. So it's about, we, we are very transparent and we, we just ask, and that's what we had to do, you know, put her in different situations. And we do a lot of vending events. So at the beginning, when she first started in 2016, we were always out in the community, not only with her business, but for our nonprofit. So she had to take charge a lot of times and had to speak about certain things. So that was just practice. And so we will continue to try to practice as much as possible in any opportunity that we have, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Out of here. <laughs> I don't know that I could have done as well as you did, Ashayla, with April calling you on the stage impromptu mm -hmm. like that. That was amazing. And, yeah, and, that was really fun. <laughs> and yeah, and you got up there and you just held that stage. That was so amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I felt amazing afterwards. Oh my goodness. I, yes, hold that thought. But I'm going to go back to some more comments. Can you share the business camp info? So we asked mom to drop the business camp info in the comments. That would be really great. And Linda, thank you for joining us, says hello. Denise Bradley says, wonderful. Stay strong and push through. God has you covered. And uh, Linda said, yes, he did. And Linda also said, Ashela, my niece loved the box I brought from Spark and Hustle Conference. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, all right. So we're getting some information about the camp and about Ashayla's business. And it sounds like you have multiple businesses going. So would you tell us again, all the different things that you are involved in and your STEAM curriculum and the different products that you have? Okay, so I do cater desserts. So those cookies, cakes are the culinary creations, mostly southern desserts. So red velvet cake, pound cake, banana pudding, different types of cookies such as um, organic chocolate chip, um, cinnamon oatmeal raisin, and sugar. I also have my own book. I'm an author. It's called The City of Dreams Atlanta. Mm -hmm. My book signing is Sunday at Open Word Church. So I'm very excited excited about that. It'll be my second book signing. And it's about um, a character named Dream that's based off me traveling around Atlanta experiencing food and culture. It, also, it has a lot of history and my full red velvet cupcake recipe in the back. I also have a subscription box that has prepackaged ingredients and they're lab labeled and co color coded and it also works with steam as well. I have my own curriculum called Bakeology, which integrates STEAM and baking, plus science, technology, engineer, arts, and mathematics. All of this information you can find at cookmeupanotch.com. And make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at cookmeupanotch. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Tell me about the subscription box. How does that work? Will people subscribe? Tell, tell us how that works. So... You can subscribe on my website. It is a quarterly box. So you'll get a, a box every three months. Yes. And it's pre, it's pre, um, the ingredients are pre-measured and it's color coded. So your little baby can do it as well. You just put a, it'll probably say all the pink go in a bowl and then all the blue go in a bowl like that. It also has these Theme activity. Does this have no? It so comes with the book. it comes with a book as well for forty. And yeah. that is so amazing. And I'm gonna send people to your website. And if um, I could get Dr. Wright to drop the website in uh, in the comments. It's on there, Ashayla Wright. Ashayla Wright. Okay. In the comments. Ashayla Wright in the comment section, you'll see her website. And you'll see Dr. Wright's website if you need someone to help assess your, your children for their strengths and also to share their um, science, technology, engineer, and math curriculum. That is so, so amazing. So Ashela, this is the question that came to me after Spark and Hustle. After all that fanfare and celebrity and all that good stuff that happened at Spark and Hustle. How did you manage going back to school? What was that? How did you manage that? 
Well, at, at the Spark and Hustle, I had a lot of candy left, so I sold that to my classmates at school. <laughs> <laughs> So that's I, it. And I got um, we I got a little bit of rest before going back. We were testing that next week, I think. Oh. Um, so yeah. So your classmates are your clients, huh? Yes, but it's kind of weird because my my classmates never know what I'm doing during the weekend. They only talk about like their weekends, like going to the movies or going skating. But they didn't. They don't know what I've been doing during the weekend. Oh my goodness. So maybe if you share this out with them, they'll see all the good stuff that you are doing. You were on stage, shared the stage with billionaires, millionaires, multi-millionaires. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm like, you are 14 in the eighth grade and you are holding your own on the stage. And that is so amazing. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Right. And so with all of that stuff going on in your life, I'm sure that keeps you also focused in your curriculum at, at school. Um, yes, I do. My mom pushes education um, hard. So it's, it's, it's so do I. So it's very important in this household. That is so wonderful. Uh, education seems to be a value of your family and it is a value in my family too. And so we, you know, we do what we need to do, right? Yes. And next year I'm going to be homeschooled. I decided that I need to be homeschooled because I plan on traveling abroad. So it will be very easier. And you know what? I don't see you ever working for anybody. <laughs> me either <laughs> and this way being homeschooled you'll be global you can move about and do whatever you like to do and that's one of the reasons why I have my own business because I travel abroad all the time and I need that flexibility yes I wanted to create I also want to create other um I want to create jobs for other kids as well so they can be exposed to as many opportunities as I have been exposed to already. That is awesome, Michelle. What does your summer look like? My summer, well, um, I want, I'm going to be taking. I, okay, I'll tell like, you, Lord have mercy. Because she's my manager you. and um, she knows my family. <laughs> she has several camps that she will be teaching bakeology um, with. She will be with the Arrow Youth Council, Southwood the Arrow Youth Council. She'll also be with two other camps. I'm sorry, I can't remember them right off. But she'll be teaching, we'll be teaching the Bay College curriculum there. Then she has another book signing. So everything will be on her website, though. Um, and then she also will be going to camp. She is with the Wealth Financial First Kidpreneur Wealth Camp. They're using, she's going to be one of the first students. They're launching it because of her. So she'll be going to their camp this summer for them to launch their first program with Will Financial. And then she also will be going to Black Into Business Camp again. And her brother will be able to join her this year to create a new business. And they will do the Shark Tank pitch again this, this year. So that will be amazing, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. I, yeah. you know, I'm going to keep up with you on your website and, and, and follow you. And you know what? I, I'm just going to believe that one day my organization will have enough money to take you to Africa with me to work. Ah! With my I just going to believe that. So, <laughs> well, that's her goal. She told me, Miss Ann, that she was going to homeschool because she will be traveling abroad. She has a passport. She's ready. We're just oh looking gosh. for scholarship opportunities so that she can you know, experience culture and learn from, because the thing is, this is what she told me. I want to go to Wakanda. <laughs> I'm so serious. I go to she Wakanda. She told me that <laughs> as part of her bakery, she wants uh -huh. to bring in pastries from all around the world, but she wants to learn them, you know, firsthand. Okay. So experience, experiencing culture, like the book. That's why my book was set up this way, because I want every kid to experience, even if they don't have the same opportunities that I have, I want to make it, them feel like they had. So I put in my book, going around Atlanta, experiencing the food and culture. So if they do travel to Atlanta, or if they don't have the opportunities of traveling to Atlanta, they will already know what's here. 
Yeah. So the rest of the books will based on the other co- country she wants to visit. So that is cool. Amazing. I'm gonna read some of the comments. Linda, Linda says, Linda, I think it's Hugh, sir. Linda says, Hello, Ashela. Peter Strauss Hello. wants to blow you up. And what? If, if you want to know who Peter Strauss is, Google him. We talked to him. We can't wait to talk. We talked to him after Spark and Hustle. It was crazy when he emailed us back. It was just like, oh my God, he emailed us back. (laughs) He was so amazing at Spark and Hustle. I really enjoyed him. Hey, Kim, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Sabra says, woohoo. And Linda says, well, financial in the house. And she says, yes, 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 (laughs) yes. And Sabra says, claim it and be done. And, you know, <laughs> claimed and done. So we're claiming your trip to Africa. And they have to take mom because, you know, she's a minor. I mean. she's a minor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we all have to work on that. And uh, Linda said, I believe that, too. You will be using that passport and I'm just, oh my gosh, Corey Bird is here. Hey, hey, Jonathan, Hi. for joining us. Oh my, this has been so much fun. This has been exciting. And um, look, I'm claiming it for you, Ashayla. Uh, Thank you. Start, look, start if you have a foreign language that you want to take, choose French. That's the one she's taking. <laughs> And the French teacher, because she her ultimate goal is to go to Paris. So the French teacher is all on board. She's like, whatever you guys need. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome, because the country I serve in, which is Senegal, West Africa, the language is French. And so I interact with the kids there and the girls there. Oh, working. my God, I love it. And so I'm so excited. I'll, I'll shoot you my website so you can visit and see the work that I do with young people in Africa. And it, it's, I'm telling you, it's its gonna happen. And, and Linda said, I told you it was gonna happen and you got the one <laughs> with <laughs> Yes, Linda, yes, sure did. So I, you know what? And for those of you who are listening and don't know what we're talking about, Spark and Hustle, I should have told you that Spark and Hustle was this leadership, personal and business development conference that's ran by April Frank Hunt. Um, And it was in Atlanta last weekend. We had over 250 entrepreneurs in the room with billionaires and millionaires Uh, pouring into us and just have this amazing energy uh, in the room that's preparing us and and just gearing us up for moving forward with our business and changing lives, right? And so uh, Shayla was one of the, well, besides her brother, she was the youngest person there as a sponsor brought in by um, Audra Upchurch and so it, it was just amazing. And so check it out. It's Spark and Hustle. Hey, Hello. introduce yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm Chef Amari and I'm the sous chef of Cook Me Up and I, and I am eight years old and I am in the third grade. All right, Chef Amari. I'm nine years old. So. You're not, you just had a birthday, right? Yes. All right. And you're in the third grade. Yes. That is so amazing. It's so nice to meet you, Chef. You too. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, when I when I grow up, I want to be a boss. <laughs> you are already a boss. So you just gonna be a grown up boss, right? Yes. Awesome, awesome. This has been so great. Any closing words for any teenagers or parents of teenagers who are watching us, future entrepreneurs? Well, I want to say that find your passion in anything that you do. So one of my quotes, my favorite quotes is, if you, let's see, oh, dang, I forgot it. How can I forget my favorite quote? It's just, it's, just, it's all right. Is If you find your passion in, and you work at it, then you will never uh, work a day in your life. Basically. I love it. 
I love it. Yeah. That's a good quote. Mom, so what's your me, um parents don't know everything. So if you believe in something, continue to believe in it. Find a way to show whoever it is that you feel like is your biggest support or investor. Go after it. Do what you have to do to prove to your parents that the dream is really real. Dream as big as you want to dream. And even if you have one dream, it can always expand to more than God can blow your mind. So don't ever give up on the things that you feel on your inside of you that is meant for you. Keep growing, do your best and never give up. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. I just want to say thank you all. Thank you to all my guests who are here. Jonathan Sterling say very proud of the right family. Job well done. Thank okay. you. <laughs> and Velma says congratulations. And I'm just going to ask you if you're catching us on the re replay hashtag replay and share this out. I want everybody to just share this out and spread the word about this amazing young lady, this amazing family. And I'm going to give the mic back to Ashayla to show us her book and tell us again, when is her book signing? And we're just going to follow her across all the social media. So this is my book. It's called The City of Dreams Atlanta. And <laughs> okay, a little different. <laughs> okay. My mom says sorry, but this is my book. It's called The City of Dreams Atlanta. It's about a girl named Dream that is based off me, traveling around Atlanta, experiencing food and culture, it has a lot of history, steam, and uh, the full red velvet recipe in the back of the book. My book signing is this Sunday at 11 o'clock at Open Word Church. And there's more information on my website and also my Instagram page where all my social media platforms. So that's Cook Me Up A Notch, cookmeupanotch.com for the website and Cook Me Up A Notch for all social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, you are amazing. Patrice, I'm glad you joined us. We're getting ready to sign off. Renetta says, awesome. And, um, Awesome, 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 Dr. Wright. Thank you. You're welcome. And one more thing. I want yes. them to come out to the Atlanta Ice Cream Festival. Which is the, that post will also be on her Instagram page. But Shayla is one of the young chefs in the Young Chef Institute. She's won for the second year in a row. So she'll be exhibiting her desserts and selling her desserts there with the other chef kids. And so please tell them to come out. Atlanta Ice Cream Festival. Look on their website or on Shayla's page. All the information will be there. Hey, is Bo Shell going to be there? Bo Shell will be there because he's there every year. Yes, my man, yes. Bo. That's yes. another entrepreneur who's been on our show for his soft launch. Little ice cream dude. We love Little him. ice cream dude. Yes. So drop that also in the comments so that we can be sure to support you, Shayla. And okay. um once again, everyone, this has been Team Talk Live. I am so glad that you are joining us. I'm so glad to have Chef Ashela Michelle here with us and her mom, Dr. Wright, and her brother. And you know what? It's going to be so amazing to watch you take the world by storm. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and have a good night. Again, share this out. Oh, Kevin says he will. I think he means that Bo Shell will be there, so that's exciting. Denise says, cool, and we're just looking for great things, and we're going to be watching you. Hey, Joy, thanks for joining us. Catch us on the replay, everybody, and share this out and give a lot of love to our teen entrepreneur, 14-year-old, Chef Ashayla Michelle. Thank you and have a good night. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.